Hi, welcome to Brick and Bricks. I'm your host, Neil. And today, we are going to do a set review. We're going to work on 75319, and it retails in the U.S. for 30 U.S. dollars and consists of 258 pieces. Um, you know, I've got a couple Mando sets I've been waiting to put together here. You know, sets like these most of the time become parts and pieces for me, but uh, I mainly clocked them from the figures, so... Uh, it's a ships and uh, military type things, army building things that I like to keep and uh, use in my build. So these tend to become part of that. But anyway, you know, here's a set. You know, the box art looks pretty decent. You know, for 30 bucks, it ain't bad. You know, it comes with three figures. Two are exclusive to this set in the set only. Um, it's part of the reason why we buy them, right? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this together and take a good look at it and see what we think. So, time to use that uh, four speed and get this shit together. All right, here we go.
got the, the Mandalorian armor and, you know, Paz Vizsla, new Mando. Um, man, the armory is just sweet. Looks pretty cool. It wasn't a hard build. Didn't take me very long to do. Um, altogether, like I said before, most of these pieces are great for building other things. So uh, most of the time this is probably going to end up becoming something else. And then, uh, of course, you know, you got to always save the figures. But uh, now that we got all these, take let's take a up close look at it and uh, check these figures and the setup. All right, we're gonna start off with the armor herself. You know, over, overall, I like the way she looks. She's done pretty well. Could have used some arm printing since it seems to be a one-off figure. This figure is unique to the set, so you need to have this set to get this fig. Came with a black head, so there ain't no sense in taking the helmet off. They all did. All right, let's take a look at pre Vizsla, or past Vizsla. All right, there he is. You know, overall, they could have done a better job with the gun. You know, it was just a Technic piece on the end of a barrel. Big deal. Anybody could have done that. But I do like the shoulder pads. You know, it seems like that was a thing in customs for a while, and they kind of lifted the idea into Lego finally. And overall, it looks good. Gives a guy a bigger look. And, of course, the Mandalorian himself, you know, in his Beskar armor. This set is retired or about to retire if you haven't gotten it yet. I would suggest doing so. You won't have a chance to get these minifigures at all. Alrighty. And here's the set itself. Overall, it doesn't look bad. Decently detailed. And over here, we got uh, the little work cabinet, you know. Uh, when you uh, open it up here, you know, you get... Uh, to see the thongs that she beats the crap out of the stormtrooper with. Too bad that's a, that's a sticker. There we go. We got a better view there. More best car. So for 30 bucks, this ain't bad. You're getting $15 worth of figs. If you count them at $5 a piece, they're worth a little bit more than that, especially in the aftermarket once it retires. And then you get a little bit of Lego for 15 bucks. So you spend 30 bucks, you get a decent little build set, you know, what can I say? It's got some decent building parts in there. So I'm definitely going to be using that. All right, my friends, that's it for Breaking Bricks this week. Um, you know, if you like the set, I would recommend it, especially for these two out of three figures. You know, this Mandel does come in other sets. Um, but uh, it's definitely worth those two figures. Um, they're going to be coming a high commodity later on, I got a feeling. It's kind of like... Uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, you know, everybody's hot to get this right now. And this came out a few years ago. What can I say? Get it when you can. All right, my friends, you know, go ahead and hit the subscribe down below. It's, it's right down there, man. Hit that subscribe. It's right down there. I can't grow without it. You know, hit the like that lets me know I'm doing a good job. And, uh, of course, you know, if you've got something to say, leave it down in the comments below, and I'll get right back to you, you know. I do like checking those out and reading them, so I do do that. Um, otherwise, you know, I'll just see you next time. I'm breaking bricks.